Hey guys, it's Josh. Welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. This week, I'm going to be teaching you how to select a specific color that you will be needing for any manipulations or any other type of projects that you're working on. Let's get started. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to select a specific color that you for sure need for any other sort of projects that you are working on at this moment. Okay, so we're going to get straight into this. So this is a quick picture that I found on the internet about uh, just of a uh, frog that we can uh, start working with. Okay, so to select a specific color, you're going to need to use this tool on the left side, um, on the left toolbar. It's called uh, the eyedropper tool. Now there's quite a few tools in here, but right now we're just going to use the eyedropper tool. Okay, so these two colors um, are your uh, preset colors that you have. Okay, to get back to these two colors, just click that and it'll go back to the two colors. Okay, so now when you click on a specific color, the first uh, box right here, the top box, will be the one that changes. If you want to keep that color, then just click this arrow right here and it'll switch colors and then it will change that color. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick. I Maybe I want this sort of green. So that will change to that color. And then I uh, can just switch back to the other color that I have selected. And then if I want to change that color to maybe this red, then it'll change to that red. So that is how to select a specific color. There's many different ways that you can use this in many different uh, manipulations, even if you want to um, try text. So I'll actually show you real quick um, the different text uh, things that you could use this for. So we're going to choose this and then... We're going to just quickly choose that. So tutorial. Now, just let's say that I um, make another text and I want that exact same color. And then I accidentally lose that color and put it to maybe a sort of pinkish color. Okay. Now, all I have to do in a situation like this is there's many different ways. But the way that I'm actually going to do it is just um, double click on the bottom layer, which is the uh, pink one. And then go to color overlay. Now all I have to do right here is just click on here and then I just can just go to that. I can just click right now and it's the exact same color. And then just click OK and then click OK and it's the exact same color. Now this is a min one of many different ways that you can use this tool to help you in many different, of your pro uh, many different projects that you are working on. So guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, then please do uh, subscribe and like. And then if you want to learn more about Photoshop, uh, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Illustrator, and Cinema 4D, then please uh, subscribe guys. Thanks and I'll see you later.